Across AACPS, hundreds of high school students are building professional skills through internship experiences. Join us as we learn about the internship facilitators that work with schools, families, and the community to make these internship opportunities possible. The role of the internship facilitator is to help students uh, bridge the gap between what they're doing in the classroom to the actual career pathway that they're interested in. Uh, the skills that they're learning in the, in the classroom itself, a lot of times, it, you know, how does this apply to the industry? By giving them an opportunity to do an internship, they see what they're doing in the classroom and how it matches up with the industry. The internship facilitator extremely supports the teachers in this building because we don't have the time to teach the entire curriculum and run around and look for business partners. They're also a tie that people outside the building can see that one person and then tie and then he can tie them to the correct classroom. They have a lot of resources. They have connections within the school system and most times out of it because they have been networking a lot longer than you have. So just don't be afraid to like reach out to them. Gone are the days of working behind a desk or stapling papers, the jobs. These students really have some high-end level um, internships, which they wouldn't have had these opportunities before, or maybe not until college, and they're getting them at 16 years old and 17. I've had students that have um, worked at Emergent Space, which they were actually doing um, some work and um, talking to people at the space station, which is very cool. We have people here at John Hopkins Healthcare, um, and we've had students create PowerPoint presentations for actually empl employers coming in and creating documents for them um, and translating uh, English or Spanish documents into English and, and vice versa. Um, and then we have another really great one that I love is the John W. Brown ship, which is a World War II merchant marine ship um, in Baltimore. And they're retired military um, personnel that volunteer their time and work with our students that are interested in the merchant marine or the marine academies. Um, and they can, are, can, during the summer, spend a week on the ship and they stay in the bunkers and they work in the steam room and they get to do the living cruises, so, and, uh, which is really neat. The success stories are just incredible, incredible. Every year, just tons of success stories. Young people, um, and it's the young people getting their career started, but it affects more than that. It's the family, it's the community as a whole. Uh, the business partners are, are filling a spot that they have with a young person that hopefully will be there for many, many years to come. To me, the internship was one of the best things I decided to do because you really get a feel for the industry and your classroom will kind of show you parts of it and kind of what's important, but really getting to be in the actual environment of the internship really shows you if you're ready for that position or if you need some more time to like prepare yourself. So if you're thinking about it, anyone should do it to really see if that's where they need to be. My experience with Mr. Dickinson has been really helpful in helping me find many different opportunities in many different fields, whether it be in the network field, um, technology and computers, or in, the, or in medicine. I really like working with other adults um, and kind of getting out of the student perspective and more of into a role of leadership. And I also like seeing people that I wouldn't normally get to meet or talk to because it's allowed me to expand my social circle and the people I communicate with. Our organization is very big about giving back to the community and we feel that these young people who come into our office are the future and we want them to be set up for success. So we do this because we want to help impact the community by helping these young people be prepared for their futures. You're a business in the county and these students' parents are citizens in this county and they also could be your patrons in this county. So I think a business that gives back to students is also playing it forward and, and helping build a new 
more responsible citizens because they're getting skills that are in relation to work. We're there, like I said, from start to finish. We answer any questions, we vet the sites, we come out and talk to the businesses. We're available by phone, we're available by, by, by email, we're available throughout the summer for our um, uh, employees. It's so much more than just going and working with these professionals with just getting an internship. They have fully committed to, to these students, you know, they want them to be successful. They want them to have that opportunity to learn and grow. When we're matching a student to an internship, one is, is the interest of the student. That's super important. Um, but besides that, one of the biggest things, it has to be a safe environment for the student to go to. They are students, um, it is an extension of the school day, so we are responsible for them. Uh, so safety is the biggest, my number one concern always. Um, and then they have to have a, a mentor there, someone who's willing to work with a high school student. Um, and the position has to be meaningful. A student's not gonna stay unless it's a meaningful experience. Well, I think that Mr. Smack is really aware and connected to our school goals and our student body. So he's connected to the administrators, he's connected to the teachers, and he's aware of the initiatives and the things that we have going on in the school. So he's able to keep all of that into perspective. And then also, he's so connected to the students. I started in Anne Arundel County years ago, and, and I always took an approach that student success is a uh, determined by the relationship th that the teacher can present to the student. And I take that same approach in the internship. If I can form a relationship of mutual respect and trust with the student, then in turn, when they get, do the internship, I know they will do their best because they have the tools that will equip them to be successful at the business or on the business site or on the job site. We're out here and we're trying to form partnerships and we're happy to uh, take any, any business on if they really want to uh, partner with their AACPS and our internship programs. Try and find an internship that you want to do. Don't do an internship to do an internship. Work with your internship coordinator to find one that fits you perfectly. Because then it doesn't feel like an internship, it just feels like something you love. If businesses are watching, please reach out to us. We would love to talk to you, share our business guide um, with you, and give you the information so that you can see all the amazing things that our students are capable of and we can partner up with you.